I find your guys' true story to be so intriguing. It was actually my favorite part of the entire film. Um, what did you think when they wanted to approach you with the possibility of making your story into a film? I think the first thing was accuracy. Um, we didn't want the story, story to be changed. We didn't want what Colton said to be changed. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, that was the very first thing we talked about, and that's been the overriding concern throughout this. And taking his story in, from a book and then putting it into film, and for what you to see to be complimentary to the book, I think in the screenings, people have read the book, have seen the film so far, really love it, and we do too. They, they stayed true to that, keeping it true to the story. Is it completely accurate? I have not read the book yet. So it's not completely, completely accurate? accurate because they have issues like they had to make their own Imperial. They couldn't just go downtown Imperial and shoot pictures of our town. They had to compress characters and time because you only got an hour and 40 minutes in a movie. Mm -hmm. But as far as staying true to the story and the content, they did a good job. So at what point after this all began did you decide that you wanted to turn this story into a book? <laughs> we never wanted never to. Done. You didn't um, want to. Mm -mm. No, I think uh, God uh, sent people to, to continue to, I think, harass us in a godly way. Mm -hmm. um, we spent a lot of time in praying, but I think the whole issue of, especially the peace we found out about our daughter, when, when Colton talked about meeting his sister in heaven, I remember in prayer God told me, is it right for you to keep that kind of peace to yourself? And we had to be gradually led by God to be willing to do it. So Colton, how would you tell your story today when people ask you about your story and they want to hear it? How do you say it today? I would tell them that when I was almost four, um, I got really sick and I had appendicitis, went to the hospital, and during emergency surgery, that's when I got to see heaven. And then from there on, they usually ask questions like, what was heaven like? or um, just stuff relating to my experience in heaven. And are the images in your mind still really vivid today? Um, yes, the images of heaven, yes, but the hospital and the events leading up to it, not as much. I think it's really amazing. Um, the girl from Lithuania who began painting the pictures, did you really identify the image of Jesus that she painted? Um, yes. It's pretty amazing. And do you still talk to her? Do you talk to her today? Or? Um, I did get to meet her and talk to her for a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, do I talk to her on a regular basis? No. Yeah. I guess I get to speak to her dad. We, we actually communicate back, back and forth quite mm -hmm. a bit. How much involvement <coughs> did you have when they began filming Heaven mm -hmm. is for Real? Well, uh, the best thing that I did is we had lots of conversations between me and Randall Wallace as he was, when he became the director and started working with the screenplay, I think that was huge because by the time we saw the screenplay before they started filming, uh, it was a very cooperative experience. What we saw was still in, in really good condition by then. We, we recommended a few changes and it was easy to go there. Even Colton said that Boy, Dad, I'd watch this when he read it. So, yeah, it, it was good. Mm -hmm. And did you ever imagine that your story would be told to millions of people today? Oh, no. We never, when we wrote the book, first off, that um, we would sell all the copies that were first contracted. Um, and, of course, it's gone into many prints. And then now it's been adapted you know, to a movie, which is, um, I don't think anybody ever could predict that. Mm -hmm. But I God knew. I think that this film is definitely very thought-provoking. What is the biggest thing that you would want everyone to take away after they watch this film? I think the fact that we're just normal. Colton's just a kid. We're just a family. And I think what Jesus did for Colton in this film, he wants to do for everyone else if they would just let him do that in their lives. And that's, that's probably the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Made in Hollywood.